What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do, a. Hey, that's all we do, a, 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 a. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Vicky, Vicky. Hey, what is up, everybody? Hello. I'm back. Y'all know that TikTok. I'm back. Ow! So you guys, welcome to my channel. If you're not a part of the fam bam, I encourage you to become one right now, okay? Click that button, customize your settings so you get notifications, and make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms because honestly, when I'm not here making like these fully, you know, these full tutorials, if you will, and full first impressions, I'm having fun on TikTok and Instagram and whatnot, okay? And then on Twitter, I'll let you guys know when I upload a video as well. But just make sure you follow me with that little link. I have a link tree in the description box go ahead and click that baby smash that baby and get connected okay you see this I know I actually have my twist this is how I sleep at night but in the morning I clip them down so that I have a little hang time right so that they're stretched but yes your girl keeps cutting and I cellophane so you see a little red I keep on cutting <laughs> I keep cutting my hair what we are here for is a Patrick Star haul now when Patrick Star first launched his collection I think he launched his collection around the same time I launched CK cosmetics I think it was July of 2020 so what he launched first one of the things he launched was an eyeliner and I did pick that up and I haven't used it that much but I did use it today in honor of you know the whole Patrick Star haul but one thing I will say off the bat this baby is bomb it's juicy it's very precise like you can get that precision on point right applicator or the point is oh amazing let me put it back here oh see I didn't mean to do that but girls juicy but it's juicy you see like even in there it's, it's a lot going on only thing that I would say about the liner is that I love my liners to have like that little ball inside where I can kind of shake it up make sure it's distributed properly kind of hear it it's kind of like a little mini requirement that I just love about you know uh, eyeliner and so that's the only downfall about that one but other than that it is a great liner and then I also picked up one size that's the name of his brand one size I picked up the the On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. We're gonna use that baby. And I also need to tell y'all this. Well, let me just tell you the other things that I got. I'll have links to everything in the description box. I picked it up from Sephora. Um, and then I also got the Turn Up The Base BBB Cream, okay? Beauty Blur Balm Cream, all right? Anyway, I do wanna say a little bit about Patrick Star while I am prepping and, and showing you guys everything. Patrick Star is amazing. Like he is an awesome makeup artist and I've met him well I've I, yeah I've met him at like you know quite a few events that we've gone to over the years or throughout the years you know YouTube events and stuff and then Jackie Ina when she had her um, birthday party I think it was her 30th or something he was there but when I actually got a chance to talk to him and really like have a conversation was at an Urban Decay event and it was so dope because he was like I know who you are I was like what so we just had like this whole cool conversation so he's really really good people I'm just glad to be trying it stuff now you know like I finally um, I heard that he had dropped quite a few things and I was like baby I need to go pick it up so this is the spray that is the bottle that the spray is in it is pink and red and also when he did his collaborations with Mac I was at those events too I probably did a video somewhere on my channel about it this shade I got is the medium dark one in the um, BBB cream BBB cream yes say it with me BBB be cream wipe and no I'm just kidding you know that TikTok I'm obsessed with TikTok and then I got the turn up the base versatile foundation powder and like I said all the links will be there I did not you know how I tell you guys to match the powder with the powder that you already have when I went to Sephora I forgot to bring a powder and I forgot to even tell them let me see that Fenty right duh I could have done that with their collection but we're gonna see how it looks now I just actually put it on my skin and matched it like that and this may be a little darker but there weren't a whole lot of shades in the range that I am so this one was the closest to me even though this is what Fenty looks like I will have to tell y'all that this was the closest that um that they had for my shade it was another one but I thought this one was the best match and then I also got a concealer now the concealer that I grabbed was more of a highlighting concealer and I'm gonna show you I actually 
actually did this time I did but I grabbed the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in butterscotch that's what I used to highlight with and I simply just swatched them and matched it the closest I could so that I could get a highlight shade and so that's what I did with that so now we are going to um, we're gonna put a, a primer on because I always put a primer on when I put on foundation and I'm gonna ask you guys <laughs> to have a moment of prayer bow your heads because listen I have something to do after this and Patrick I need you to come through for a sister right now okay pumpkin because yeah this is we're gonna have to make a do with a do baby I picked up another one of my makeup forever correctors because y'all know like I love this. This is all about Patrick Star, so we're going to make it do what it do. Anytime that I'm like going to do foundation, especially like I'm just doing like concealer and powder, I'll do like a little correcting because I just don't like it to look shadowy. I was actually looking for a concealer that kind of matched my skin and I couldn't really find one that I really just had to leave with. So I just got the highlighter shade. I am going to go into this BB cream now and the reason, okay, wait a minute. Okay, I like how that's super shiny. The reason I'm doing the BB cream is because I've seen some, not necessarily reviews, but I've seen some TikToks where it's really kind of like a nice coverage and it's just great application and great blurring and everything. But I don't know, I don't know. I thought, I, I pray she gave me the right one. We made sure. Oh Lord, it's looking real light. It's looking real light, Father. It's looking real light. But I told her, make sure. Oh Lord, oh no, wait a minute. I might have to bust out my makeup forever. I think, did she give me the wrong one? <gasps> oh, Jesus. Girl, she gave me the wrong one. She had to have given me the wrong one. She had to have given me the wrong one. Oh, no. We're going to pause on that. I'm going to use something that I usually use. I'll save the makeup forever for another time, but that ain't it. That is not it. So we're going to use the powder, but I'm going to have to use my, my foundation that I usually use because I can't. We can't. Uh-uh. I was wondering when I opened it. I was like, I don't know about that. Maybe it's just super frosty. See? Mm-mm. I'm going to have to go back. Dang it. We're gonna go ahead and do my Morphe like I always do, but we'll still do his concealer and we'll still do his um, powder. It did, you know, praying that she gave me the right one, huh? And my corrector, hold on, Cletus. At least you guys get to see the real deal, right? Mm -mm -mm. I can't believe it. Now let's pop out this correct, I mean concealer. One size concealer. This one is in dark one. See, that that has to be wrong because this is dark one. She definitely gave me the wrong one because there's no way that I would be dark one in a BB cream too. This is like a highlighting shade. Let's just highlight with this. I swatched it on my hand and it seemed like it really dries down good so we're gonna test it out I'm gonna apply it just like normal I might do a video comparing it to my Too Faced but I just wanted to do an initial first impression this time but if I do that video I can be going somewhere after so we'll do that on another day if you want me to compare it to how it lasts and how it looks and this is the thing um, I forgot to say too about Patrick Starr one thing that I love about him as well is like he is a legit makeup artist that knows what he's doing that knows quality that knows how to beat a face and so I can totally respect and appreciate when a makeup artist comes out with a line because like it just you know they're you know they're going for what really works and what's gonna make you look good and last you know what I'm saying all right so we're gonna just tap this out with my Sonia cash sponge that I love baby you oh oh I may not need to do that technique with this because it kind of does that on its own okay oh she kind of sat on her own almost girl okay making me feel all oh, beat wait a minute oh y'all see that I just you know what don't judge me don't judge me, but I just want to put a little right there. Please don't judge me because it's given what it needs to give right there. So I just want to highlight right up under there because man, it kind of set without me. I don't, without me like having to kind of blend it out, making me feel beat and I'm not even done. Okay. And so I'm going to set like I usually do right here. My little highlight. I'm not going to do all the highlighting and contouring and everything, but I am going to show myself putting on the powder. When I do powder, I do not like to use the sponge that comes in the compact. I love to use my E1 and unfortunately I I believe that this is discontinued but in my last video I put another brush that was similar by Morphe so I'll just you know link that as well so this is dark three the powder so um it's looking like we're gonna have something here so let's see okay definitely better than the other one she gave me and you know I tend to try to 
go a little lighter with powder. Now that is, oh, that, that, see, I probably could do, what is this, dark three? I probably could have done the dark two. I don't know. This is making me look really bronzy. I gotta take that down. It's making me look real bronze. It's not bad, but you see that, how I just put on my forehead? You see right there? Right there. You see how it's just a tad bit darker? I think I probably could have done the dark two. I should have followed my first mine and gone lighter with the powder like I always do. I even do that with Fenty. It just seems like it's it's, you know, it works better for me, but I am not mad at the bronze that this is giving me though. And summer's coming. I'll keep her, but get another one as well. It's a little more red right down there. So I'm definitely going to have to blend that out. I'm going to come back with the final look and then I'll show you guys the final look. I'm going to like put some blush highlight, you know, kind of make it do what it do up under here and blend it together, fix my hair, and then I'll show you the final look. Okay. So I'll be right back. Okay. So, <laughs> so I, oh shoot, I got, obviously I was doing some TikToks, hold on. So I actually did a TikTok real quick too. I'm gonna show y'all. It's so funny, but I had to make it do what it do, look. You know what, I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. And that's exactly what we did. You can definitely see a little bit that it's not matching exactly how it's supposed to, but here's the thing, six feet, okay? Six feet. If you're six feet apart, you're not gonna know what's going on all up over here. But anyway, I made it do what it do, baby. I had to. I am gonna go back and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna get the right BBB cream, okay? I'm gonna get the right one. I'm more than likely gonna get the lighter powder because I really love this compact and I like the color coverage of it is really nice. I like how it stays in place. It's really, I don't know. I feel like it gets in there. Yeah. Yeah. And it just sets. You know what I wanted to tell you guys about? Okay. So listen, so the spray guys, so like I did put some on and it's, it is a continuous spray, but it was kind of like, have you ever, you went, you bet, you bet. I sound like that kid, but have you ever tried like a, um, uh, a deodorant that's in spray form, that's an aerosol form. It kind of reminds me of that. It smells good, it smells really good, but I was kind of like, where is it? Where is it? It, it? Is it coming on? Is it coming on my face? Like you could barely feel it. So I'm just trusting that it's there because I put that baby all on. Matter of fact, I went on a little more and I think I was expecting it to give me like this dewy look afterwards, kind of like this wet look, but it says clearly on the package that it is a mattifying waterproof setting spray. So if you're looking for it to give you that juicy kind of, you know, how sometimes you do the max, max, the Mac fix plus, or I'll use my Morphe continuous setting spray. Those are a little more wet and you can kind of see that it was deposited on your face. Whereas this, you're not going to see that. You just got to know it's there. You can kind of feel it coming on, but it is so super light. You just got to kind of trust the process. So that is it for this video. You guys, I will, now that we're done with this video, I will be coming back with a video on the makeup forever HD skin foundation. The rep at Sephora, like raved about this product. So I'm definitely going to use this. I'm probably be using it. I'll probably be using it with my Fenty powder or something. I don't know yet. I might have the other, um, the other powder like this by that time. This is just so cute. Um, and then I also picked up, I told you guys some more concealer, the Olaplex, uh, number five bond maintenance conditioner. So did I say conditioner or concealer? I don't even know. I'm hype right now. I'm ready to do what I gotta do for the day, but that is it, you guys. Make sure that if you have not joined the fan bam that you do. We do product reviews over here. We do first impressions over here. Sometimes I just do fun videos. Now, you guys told me I did a live, oh, and I do live unboxings too. That's what I've been doing lately. I have another one coming, and you guys also said you wanted to see my perfume collection. I'm down if you down. Like, you wanna kick it? What you wanna do? What you wanna do? <laughs> Let me know. I love you guys so much. Have an awesome blessed day. And, um, I'm not going to say that I'll see you sooner than you think, but I'll see you soon. Okay, girl. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean? A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. See, keep beauty makeover.